नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एन लाइट चैनल टेक्स्ट थर्टी फोर टेक्स थर्टी फाइव एंड टेक्स थर्टी सिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव द कॉज ऑफ ऑल कॉजेस ऑफ सेकंड कैंडल ऑफ कॉस्मिक मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स थर्टी फोर वर्ष मुग सहस्रांते तंड मुद के शयम काल कर्म स्वभावस्थो जीवो अजीव जीवय Thus, all the universes remain. Thousands of eons within the water, the causal ocean, and the lot of living beings entered in each of them caused them to be fully animated. The Lord is described here as the Jeev because he is the leader of all other jivas, living entities. In the Vedas, he is described as the Nitya, the leader of all other Nityas. The Lord's relation with the living entities is like that of the father with the sons. The sons and the father are qualitatively equal, but the father is never the son, nor is the son ever the father who begets. So, as described here, the Lord as Garbo Daksha Vishnu or Hiranya Garbo Super Soul enters into each and every universe and causes it to be animated by begetting the living entities within the womb of the material nature, as confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita 14.3. After each annihilation of the material creation, all the living entities are merged within the body of the Lord, and after creation, they are again impregnated within the material energy. In material existence, therefore. The material energy is seemingly the mother of the living entities, and the Lord is the father. When, however, the animation takes place, the living entities revive their own natural activities under the spell of time and energy, and thus the varieties of living beings are manifested. The Lord, therefore, is ultimately the cause of all animation in the material world. Text thirty-five. So, eva purushastha smadandam nirbhitya nirgataha sahasror vanagri vaha bakshaha. सहस्रान न शीर्षवान द लॉर्ड महाविष्णू ऑल दो लाइन इन द कॉजल ओशन केम आउट ऑफ इट एंड डिवाइडेड हिमसेल्फ एज हिरण्य गर्व ही एंटर्ड इन टू ईच यूनिवर्स एंड अज्यूम द विराट अ रूप विथ थाउजेंड ऑफ लेग्स आर्म्स माउथ हेड्स एक्सेट्रा द एक्सपांशन ऑफ द प्लानेटरी सिस्टम विद इन ईच एंड एवरी यूनिवर्स आर सिचुएटेड इन द डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द विराट अ रूप यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड दे आर डिस्क्राइब एज फॉलोज टेक्स थर्टी सिक्स ये हाव य वैर्लोका कल्पयती मरीषीण कट्यादीरध सप्त सप्तोध जघनादी भी ग्रेट फिलोसोफर्स इमेजिन दैट द कंप्लीट प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम इन द यूनिवर्स आर डिस्प्लेस ऑफ द डिफरेंट अपर एंड लोअर लिम्स ऑफ द यूनिवर्सल बॉडी ऑफ द लॉर्ड द वर्ड कल्पंती और इमेजिन इज सिग्निफिकेंट द विराट Universal form of the absolute is an imagination of the speculative philosophers who are unable to adjust to the eternal two-handed form of Lord Sri Krishna. Although the universal form, as imagined by the great philosophers, is one of the features of the Lord, it is more or less imaginary. It is said that the seven upper planetary systems are situated above the waist of the universal form, whereas the lower planetary systems are situated below his waist. The idea impressed herein is that the Supreme Lord is conscious. of every part of his body and nowhere in the creation is there anything beyond his control hari krishna